Hello, my name is Denise Channing. I own Goblin Films Limited. I've come here today to offer 15% of my company in exchange for 175,000 investment in my first project, Dance of the Goblins. Dance of the Goblins is a fantasy film based on the book by the same name by Jack D. Hawkins. This is my pen name. I own the rights to the book, to the script, to everything. The story is set in the future, five generations after a planetary pole shift has devastated the population of the planet. The descendants of survivors have built an almost medieval society on the rubble of what was once London. They are led by the magician, Count Anton, who is the only human who is friends with the goblins. As I was writing this story, it was coming at me in scenes so that I knew it had to be a film. So when I finished the book, I tried my hand at screenwriting, and that came to me quite naturally. So then I started looking into the film industry to see who does what initially with the idea of finding out who to sell it to. And one thing I learned is that what a producer does is effectively admin and organizing, two things I'm very good at. So I decided to do it myself. I started networking, and things just sort of fell into place so that now I have a fully equipped, experienced crew. I have a professional makeup and prosthetics team, and I even have a well-known actor attached to the script. I can do all this on what is considered in film terms a very low budget, partly because of good planning. My budget sheet reflects the actual cost of everything I need to make this film. I don't like working with estimates. The story itself is just naturally given to being shot like a drama. It doesn't need a lot of special effects as you'd expect with fantasy. And this has actually become my company policy, that all of my films will be focused on good story and good acting rather than excessive, expensive effects. The Goblin Circle has a good balance of dedicated professionals and talented amateurs, all of whom are devoted to seeing this project done, whatever it takes. This isn't just my dream anymore. It's become the dream of many people who are involved. Um, what I'm looking for today, beyond financial investment, is someone who could enjoy being part of that circle to help us create the magic that will bring my goblin world to life. I'm sure you'll have questions. Please fire away. Norwich-based author Denise Channing wants a £175,000 investment to make her feature film, Dance of the Goblins. The Dragons know that backing films can be tax efficient for wealthy entrepreneurs, but will that sway them into helping Denise turn her fantasy into reality? Hello, Denise. Hello. I'm Deborah. B before we move on to the film, you've got a book that's already out there. Is this actually, has it been published and is it actually selling? It is published. It was published uh, 1st of May 2005. Uh, it's had limited distribution because it's a small publisher, but it is in some of the major bookstores, especially here in London. Uh, How so many have sold? Um, the first run was 2,000. Those are either sold or placed in bookstores. I'm not sure how many are on each side of that. I've been trying to get numbers from my publisher. Uh, okay. What I'm, what I'm looking for here is, is a reason why we think the film might work, and I'm not going to find it in the book sales, am I? Not in the book sales, not no. Not in the book sales. Okay, so what makes you think it'll work? Well, one is that I can get good production quality with the team that I have. My uh, director of photography has 18 years' experience in the business. Uh, What's he, does... he done before? What would I recognize? What would I uh, know? We wouldn't necessarily recognize what he does, because he does... Um... I don't know what features he's done. He hasn't told me that, but he has done features. He's done... Um, How do I know if he's good or not? Well, the best thing I can tell you is that he has 18 years' experience in the business. He would have bombed out if he hadn't um, been putting out good products. It's not often the dragons are flawed by a response, and Denise seems oblivious to their concerns. Now Duncan Bannatyne, who's had his own book published, wants to interrogate her more on the original publication. Well, Denise... You wrote this book. Yes. And someone published it in May 2005. And it sold less than 2,000 copies. Yes, the distribution hasn't been good. I'd say that was an absolute disaster. Wouldn't you? As book sales go, yes. As book sales go. The film go. is a separate entity, though. Why, why is the book such a disaster? Because it's a new publisher who doesn't have the distribution channels What's and is trying to build up his business. He has two books on his catalogue. Yours? Sorry? He has two books in his catalogue, yours? And one of his, yes. <laughs> his own. <laughs> so does he, how many of his books has he sold? That I don't know, I don't have his figures. How do we know that the reason the book hasn't sold is because it's rubbish? Did you get any reviews? It's been book of the month on three of the fantasy Yahoo groups. Uh, it's Fantasy uh, Yahoo groups? Yes, people who are interested in, in fantasy fiction join these Yahoo groups on the internet and discuss various books. And mine's been book of the month on three of them. I mean, a lot of people have fed back to me that they want the sequel to this. Denise is fighting back in a bid to quash the dragon's concerns. 
that Theopathetis wants to make sure that the fantasy writer is working in the real world when it comes to her financials. You talked about £175,000. What's your budget for the film? The total budget is uh, sitting at one and a half million right now. Now, the first thing you're going to ask me is how that relates to 175. Well, a million of that is um, associate producer fee for the, my, my actor. He is worth it. Um, 175 is sort of the bare bones for getting no, through no, production. No, 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 no. You're going to give somebody a million pounds. That's deferred, yes. That's deferred? Yes, yeah, some of these actors make quite a few million pounds. This is someone who's been in, in recent blockbusters, who's who, on the West End right now. I don't have permission to use his name, unfortunately. What films has he done? Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, only believable pirate in the film. Uh, Phantom of the Opera, um, television, feature films, blockbusters. Rocker, who, who was in Phantom of the Opera? And then uh, and part, so Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. And, what else and he was it? a real pirate. If you say the name, I'm going to be in trouble. Denise, do you know how difficult that makes it? Yes, I do. For yeah. five to people to, to sit here and consider an investment and they've got no idea. It's a double whammy. Not only is Denise planning to give a million pounds to the leading man, she's not prepared to reveal the actor's identity in the den. We don't have to respect his wishes because no, he wants a million pounds. The patience of the dragons is running out. I'm just a little bit surprised that if your key actor really believed in this project and you explained to him that you were coming here today to raise money to make this project a viable success, that why he wouldn't want to support you to help you achieve that. James, that's easy. He hasn't added a million pounds yet. Clearly. I, I think this is not a credible project. Um, you know, I, I'm amazed that you think that we can get inspired to invest in something when your key person doesn't have the confidence to put his name to a project when you're raising money. So, for that reason, I'm out. Good. Denise, uh, can I just tell Only. you where I am? I mean, th 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 this whole thing has been based on things you can't say, and actually you're feeling very uncomfortable at this moment, and you damn well ought to be. Aren't you? I don't actually feel uncomfortable, well, because you I know like it's a good you're story. feeling uncomfortable, and you ought to be feeling uncomfortable, because you cannot sit in front of five investors and not tell them half, the, most of the story. I'm afraid you've completely lost credibility as far as I'm concerned. And if you think you're going to get an investment from me, you are living in fantasy land. So I'm afraid you can hear where I'm going. I'm out. Two dragons out. The chance of investment is evaporating fast for Denise and her goblins. Denise, you need to go home. You need to go home, go to your bedroom, turn out the lights, get under the quilt, and get some sleep. When you wake up in the morning, if you really think this is a really good idea, may I suggest that you turn the lights back off again and go back to sleep. This is not a goer. And for those reasons, I'm out. Well, I think this whole thing's fiction. I don't think I'm really here. This is the whole fantasy. I'm out. It's all but over for Denise. Peter Jones has been unusually quiet up until now. It's left to him to have the final word. We up here. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. I'm speechless. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Denise has failed to inspire the dragons with her goblin movie project and leaves the den empty-handed. He loves goblins. I'm spellbound. Hello, Denise. Hello. Quite a struggle. It got hung up on uh, the actor, so perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned him right away, but I thought it was uh, good that I had one. Unfortunately, it seemed to take over the conversation just a bit too much. A lot of people want to make a movie, but what the dragons needed was a strong, strong selling point, a reason why you can make a movie, and they're just... Ultimately, from their point of view, there wasn't one, was there? Um, I don't think that they appreciated the fact that everyone, apart from me, is professionals in this business. They know what they're doing. Um, they didn't seem to want to uh, exploit that. You're going to get quit. it done? Oh, yes. I don't quit, ever.
I've done too much. I've put together a, basically a whole corporation with no money whatsoever. We'll see how you get on. Mm -hmm. Very good luck. Yes. See you in the audience. <laughs> Thank you.